today I am giving you my week 25 pregnancy update. I am also going to be baking some yummy, healthy chocolate chip cookies that I know you and your kids will love. But before we get into that, I wanna give you a quick update on my pregnancy and kind of what's happened this last week. I am 25 weeks now and I feel like not a lot has changed. I feel like I haven't given you guys a bum shot in a while. Bum shot from the side. I feel like mostly it's just a lot of like lower back pain, have a lot of that. So using the heating pad a lot, no real cravings still, which I find so bizarre that I don't have any weird cravings. I just got on my Baby Center app because it was giving me an update on week 25 and what's happening. Do you wanna come over here and look at the baby? So Layla, the baby, is about the size of a rutabaga. So our baby is 13 and a half inches and weighs about one and a half pounds. So about that, that so big, why Layla. It's a rutabaga. A rutabaga? It's a rutabaga. She's starting to get a little bit more fat in her. She's starting to look more like a newborn, which is cute. Oh, and she's starting to get more hair. Ew. Yeah, she's starting to get hair. Daddy, daddy's got more hair. She's telling daddy. But it says, my locks may be looking fuller, but enjoy it now because it falls out with extra hair when the baby's born. It said, pale skin could be a sign that you have an iron deficiency, so you just make sure to check on that. Just went and got blood work done, so I don't think I have that problem. But I guess I better be enjoying having thicker hair, because yeah, it does. It pretty much all falls out after the baby comes. <laughs> so that's kind of it. That's what's going on right now. Week 25. So Layla, we're gonna bake some healthy cookies, right? No. Because we We're gonna <laughs> bake not healthy. Oh, okay, yeah, they're not gonna be healthy. One thing when I know I'm baking with a toddler is I always pre-measure out everything. I know if I wait to measure everything out when she's around trying to touch and grab everything and asking questions, I might get mess up or we might over pour something and it's just easier and for my own sanity to have everything laid out and ready to go. First ingredient is one cup of almond butter. So the almond butter is a little hard to get out. You're gonna add in a half a cup of sugar, and that is the only sugar that's in this recipe. Daddy, hello! Considering all the other nutritious stuff that are in these cookies. You need one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, Layla, we need two eggs, and I know you love cracking eggs. Another tip, always have your child, if they insist on cracking eggs, do it in a separate bowl so you can dig out all the shells. I don't see any, good job. Hey, you're getting good. She usually gets tired after about 30 seconds, <laughs> and then I do the rest. But this recipe also um, has, like I said, the peanut butter, and I use all natural peanut butter, chia seeds, flax seeds, and just like I said, a half a cup of sugar, and you could add more stuff into it if you wanna add like dry fruit or something, but I love them just the way they are. All right, Layla, now we need a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then you need a half a teaspoon of sea salt. Now this is the really good part. Two tablespoons of chia seeds, two tablespoons of flax seeds. Well, Layla got ahead of me, but the last thing is a third of a cup of chocolate chips. Yummy. This recipe is so good for kids too who might be a little backed up or have troubles pooping, which she does. And so I don't mind there being a little bit of sugar and a little bit of chocolate chips in there because more importantly to me, she's getting those flax seeds and chia seeds which are gonna help her digestive system. In the end, it's a win-win. Just bake for about eight minutes, eight to 10 minutes, and while those are baking, I'm gonna clean, because no matter how much I try to prepare for baking with a toddler, it still always ends up being a mess. These smell so good. I 
love these cookies. I'm gonna let them cool and then I'll give Layla one a little bit later. Lately we have been having a lot of issues with Layla getting backed up and constipated. So I have been researching and creating a lot of recipes to help keep her a little more balanced and regular. So I will be doing a vlog on that later with a whole bunch of recipes for toddlers and kids to kind of help with their digestion. So keep a lookout for that. Well, while those cool and get set, I am going to give Layla Jane a bath and I promised her a cookie when we got out and she's all nice and clean. Layla just got out of the bath and Brian, I think, just finished uh, combing her hair and I'm gonna give her just a little bit of the can or the cookie because it is almost lunchtime and I want her to eat her lunch first and then she can have the rest later. Okay, so Layla Jane, as many of you all know, has gorgeous hair but it tangles so easily. It's like the battle every morning is combing her hair. I've started braiding her hair at night. Uh, sometimes I forget or sometimes I'm not here at night and Brian puts her to bed and Brian doesn't know how to braid hair. I am going to teach Brian how to braid today. Let's see how quickly he picks up on this. I'm not gonna do a French braid. I'm not gonna throw him in deep there. Done. We're gonna start with a basic braid. And if he gets that, maybe in a week or so, we'll do a French braid. What you wanna do, Brian, is divide her hair into three sections. Nice, nice, you got it. Oh, keep your head straight for me, honey. <laughs> Take the right section and put it over the middle. And yeah, you kind of pull it over with your left hand and then grab the middle section with your right. And now you're gonna take this and put it over the middle. What is that? What is that? What is that? Yeah. your hair? Is that good? Yeah. Daddy braid. Maybe next time I'll show him how to do it. What is that? That's not a braid. It looks cute though. <laughs> but your hair is gonna look pretty when Grandpa Rob comes in. By the way, Grandpa Rob is Brian's dad and he is in town just for the weekend for work. So we're super excited for him to come. I can't wait to see what this looks like. My niece Addie is amazing at braiding hair. If she could only see this right now. Oh no, we're starting all over. Brian is really determined here. I'm holding the middle one, then don't I just go like this now? Where'd it go? And put it over this middle one. Where'd it go? You're holding it. Oh no, because I'm a dude. <laughs> call that the Fruit Loop. Hey, that's actually kind of a Fruit Loop. Well, there you go. Yay, Daddy! He keeps the sun. Poor Brian, we have another girl coming. Well, they can braid each other's hair. That's <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna sign off for now because we gotta get ready for Grandpa Rob to come in. I'm gonna braid Layla's hair. Just kidding, we're not done with our vlog yet. We decided why not bring you guys to Target and Trader Joe's with us, our favorite place ever. We're gonna show you some of our favorite stuff and favorite stuff to snack on. We gotta get some good old chips and dip and some other yummy stuff. And Layla is serenading us, Paradise by Coldplay. <laughs> now to Trader Joe's, because we this like their chip perfect. selection. Oh, those are so good, dill pickle chips. This I see all over Instagram, this spicy buffalo cheddar, so I'm gonna try some of that. All right, we kind of have a problem. We like chips a little too much here. We actually have already broken into two of them on the way home. And I'm really excited about this spicy buffalo cheddar. Everyone's been talking about it on Instagram, so I'm gonna try it right now, see if it's any good. Let's see if this is as spicy as they say. Mmm. Okay, that is really spicy, but it's so good. Oh my gosh, that'd be so good on nachos <gasps> or a burger. It's very spicy, Layla. You wouldn't like this, but it's so good. If you like spicy, definitely try this. So good. Now we're going to sign off. We're going to get ready for Grandpa Rob. <laughs> Bye, everyone.